Are communities with surrounding fences and gates actually safer? Hi, I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. Today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of gated communities. At the end of this video, you'll be able to decide for yourself if a gated community is right for you. So let's get started. The number of gated communities certainly has increased over the past couple of decades. In fact, in the greater Lakeland area, there's over 30 gated communities available. But are they safer than properties without fences or boundaries? There's one thing most residents do agree on. There are a few proven disadvantages and advantages of living in a gated community. But first, let's define what a gated community actually is. Secure communities are typically residential communities by which public access by non-residents is restricted. They usually have physical boundaries such as walls, gates, and fences. These communities sometimes require a special entry system like a key card or a key code or security guard approval. Surprisingly, only about 60% of all the gated communities in our area require a special entry system. The others have a keypad entry system. That means that anyone who has the numbered code could get in. And out of all the gated communities, about 20% of them are in over 55 communities. I've included a link to all gated communities available in our greater Lakeland area. This list is updated daily, so check it out. In the U.S. as a whole, it seems like the South and the West have the most gated communities. In fact, about 40%, according to national statistics, the Southern states have the most. And yep, you guessed it, Florida has more gated communities than any other Southern state. The least popular area for gated communities is the Midwest region whereas only 7% of all those communities are gated. One reason for the huge differences is the population density and the style of living. But the biggest reason is the weather. Communities that get a lot of snow during the winter have fewer gated communities. There is no concrete evidence that proves or disproves that gated communities promise residents a higher level of security or reduce crime rates. On one side of the fence, some residents believe that gated communities and property fencing actually cut down on crime. I've been a realtor for a couple of decades now, and it's my opinion that gated communities not only offer a solid physical barrier, but also offers a psychological deterrent for would-be criminals. However, moving into a neighborhood solely because it's gated is not a wise security decision. Do your homework or ask your realtor to provide you resources to determine whether or not the area itself is safe. In my experience, the integrity of a gated community is only as strong as the integrity of the people who live there. Think about that for a moment. You should never assume just because a community is gated that all law-abiding people live there. Visitors of other residents can also be of concern. This is why some believe that gated communities are no safer than communities that have gates or fences. Gates could create a false sense of security for some residents. Feeling there's no need to keep an eye out for suspicious people or activity. They lower their guard, making them and their neighbors easy targets for burglars and other criminals. While gated communities are prohibited from claiming that the gates around the entrances offer a higher level of security and safety, the implications certainly exist. How safe a property is depends on how property owners and residents look out for one another. Especially if your property is a rental. It's important to do background checks on applicants, and also it's important to change the access codes to the entry gates from time to time. Let's talk about some definite advantages of living in a gated community. Reduced traffic. This also reduces the noise level in the neighborhood, but the bigger plus is, residents with children often feel that this is a safer environment for their kiddos to play. Decreased number of solicitors. Gated communities that are protected by secured entries prevent solicitors from entering at will. Stricter community rules and codes. To me, this is the most important one. Many gated communities have strict codes of conduct that all residents must follow. Many people enjoy living in these types of communities because it requires everyone to keep up their house and in turn keeps up the property values. As a new home buyer, it's important to be smart. Don't rely solely on the appearances of the property alone. Ask your realtor to help you determine whether or not the area is right for you and your family first, then decide which side of the fence you'd like to live on. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. 
If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell. I have a new video every single Monday and you won't want to miss a thing. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.